Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. High heat and drought means USDA had to make some adjustments in its first survey-based report of the season. Hardest hit, cotton, with a production estimate now the lowest since the 2009 growing season. Let's get straight to the numbers. This year's cotton crop now expected to be 846 pounds per harvested acre. That's down more than 24 pounds from July with historically high abandonment in the Southwest, which we've been telling you about. Now that puts production at 12.6 million bales, nearly 3 million bales lower than last month. New crop ending stocks are 600,000 bales lower and the lowest stock to use ratio since 1924-1925. Cotton trading limit up after the report came out. USDA uh, reflected the, what we suspected about the Southern Plains with the drought down there. They, we had a massive abandonment in uh, Texas, planted acreage versus harvested. On the production side of things, that dropped production from 7.7 .7 million bales for that state last year to 2.9 million this year. That's a, that's a huge drop. USDA also lowered yield for corn to 175.4 versus its July estimate of 177, and it lowered production by 146 million bushels. Soybean yields were raised to just shy of 52 bushels per acre. That's up from 51.5. Production raised by 26 million bushels, offset by a 300,000 acre drop in harvested acreage. So ending stocks on corn, well, they're now forecast at 1.38 billion bushels. That's lower than last month. Soybean stocks were raised slightly to 245 million bushels. And wheat ending stocks are lowered at 610 million bushels, down nearly 30 million from a month ago.